What's up guys? This is Crypto with James talking to you today about Shentu. Most people might not know it as Certic. Um, I want to talk about what this can do because it's kind of an interesting one from the perspective of it's not your traditional crypto. Um, so I want to talk about the potential price like that it can reach based on its usage effectively. Um, and also, let's, we'll uh, talk about what's happening in the markets recently, which has been positive. We've finally seen a Bitcoin close above 20k. Let's see what happens. Uh, and I'll cover that as well, because we want to know what's happening in these markets over the rest of the week. But before I get into that, folks, I update the spreadsheet. Now, if you are brand new to the channel, you're going, James, who the hell are you? Why should I listen to you? All fair question. Now, um... These are the first 26 coins I spoke about on this channel. They're actually the first 26 coins I held when I made this channel. Had you put in 100 bucks into each of these when I released videos about them, and you'd been the worst investor of all time, you never sold them, you just sat on them, you would still, having done everything wrong, be in profit for about seven grand. That's doing every single possible thing wrong. But if you'd done the right thing, guys, if you had bought them, Sold them last year when the markets were flying. You could have made 123 grand. Staggeringly high difference. Obviously, I sold these. I don't, these, this is not my portfolio anymore. And if you want to see my portfolio, go and read copymycrypto.com. Go to the site. The link is in the description. On that site, I share everything I own it, my entire portfolio, every coin I buy and sell. We have thousands of members, so what we've got is our beginner tutorials for anyone, um, because many of the people that are on the site have never invested in anything before. Um, so it's as simple as it can be. Guys, if you want to make these gains, the 42x, 52, 62, or you know, 677, then go read the site. Uh, I dive into these markets on a daily basis. Uh, when I find the next phantom, and I will, I will let the members know why I'm getting in on this. Why this coin, I believe, can 100x or more. If you want to make that kind of game, you're going to want to go read that site. Link is in the description. All right, Shentu. Shentu's a weird one, guys. It is a weird one, but they've got some interesting features now. So Shentu is the rebrand of Certic. Now, Certic, if you're unfamiliar... Um, are the, basically the guys that audit every crypto out there. You know, you constantly see Certic audits. Certic actually is the gold standard for the audits. Um, so the Shentu chain is a security first uh, delegated proof of stake. So that just means you would put your, uh, you would dele <laughs> delegate your Shentu or your Certic, your, tick, your Shentu, CTK to someone to stake, and you would get the rewards. Um, but it's security first chain for trustworthy execution of mission critical applications. Basically their job is prioritizing cross-chain compatibility <clears throat> and ensuring that there are no malicious or uh, vulnerabilities on any on new crypto. So they run m audits constantly. Um, and that's what Shentu does. They they provide security insights based upon what they based on the code that they assess. Um, now they've actually been up and running for a while. They have their security oracle. Uh, the security oracle is uh, formed by a decentralized network of operators that use the leading industry leading security tech. Um, and all that does is evaluate the reliability of every smart contract that they then audit. In exchange for the sort of real-time updatable scores, uh, operators will receive Certic rewards. The security oracle is interoperable with everything out there. The whole premise is obviously it'd be as secure as possible. We've seen so many goddamn hacks over the course of time. Things are, things are rough in the crypto space, particularly if you're in a DeFi protocol that ends up being a rug or a hack. Um, and they will highlight if they think there's a problem and there's a potential risk of a rug. 
Um, Shentu Shield is also something that they've got, which is a decentralized membership system um, to enable reimbursement of lost or stolen crypto from any protocol. So it's effectively your insurance protocol. Now, this is why I like Shentu more than anything, is the fact that they've got their the Shentu Shield, which is simply put their insurance protocol. And I do, and I've spoken about, like I spoke about Insure DeFi yesterday. I genuinely believe that we're going to have to see. I think, I, I don't know if we're going to have to, but we're certainly going to see more retail investors and more institutions use um, insurance protocols. Because if you've got 20 grand locked up in a smart contract and that smart contract is hacked and it would have only cost you 200 bucks to insure that 20 grand, you're going to be absolutely raging. So insurance protocols have got to get some momentum behind them. Now, I think Shentu can rally as a result of, you, of more people utilizing the, the Shentu shield, which allows for reimbursements. And they've got a number of different um, funds as well, by the way. See what I mean? Total funds lost in 2020, 500 million. So we've, we've got to take the use case of uh, insurance protocols very seriously. And Shantou have got something up and running. And remember, they are the gold standard for like audits. They're who everyone goes to for audits. They, they've started building something pretty impressive. Now, the reason that I'm not so... So firstly, guys, am I the only one on the, that thinks insurance is going to have to kick into gear in crypto? Let me know in the comments down below, because actually, I know a few people that have differing opinions on insurance. Um, so let me know. Uh, and if you're a returning viewer, subscribe to the channel, because we've got, at the moment, a little under 75% of people that watch this channel are returning viewers that never hit the subscribe button. I want to get that down to 70%, guys. I desperately want to get that down to 70%. So help me out. And if you're a returning viewer, subscribe. And if you're not a returning viewer, subscribe. <laughs> um, so, look, Shentu is very, very different from, every, from the majority of cryptos out there because their whole premise is security. It's auditing, it's uh, insurance now. Um, so I think there's limited upside. Because um, they don't have the plethora of ways to, or the plethora of innovations that push most cryptos, you know, into like these huge gains. Um, Shentu's upside, downside, like they're both limited. So I do think this could probably hit four bucks. It's about five x, um, as long as it's continued to be used. Now, if their Shentu Shield ends up being one of the most utilized insurance protocols in the space, we could see way bigger gains for uh, Shentu. But I just can't, fundamentally, what I can't see is um, a huge sort of run on this because it's effectively limited to uh, auditing and security. Like, it's not limited. I'm, I, I'm saying I actually like this. I think this is, and I think the reason that it will have the success and, and have some price appreciation is down to their Shentu Shield. I just think because they've not got like <coughs> a, um, you know, like a, a DeFi, a, you know, like with layer ones, we've got DeFi, we've got gaming, we've got NFTs, we've got everything. Um, Certic is limited in what it actually has in terms of tools. Beyond, you know, they've got their Oracle, they've got the Chelsea Shield, they've got Deep Sea, but I don't think there's going to be enough draw for those products to see a sustained rally. But I could be wrong. I certainly could be wrong. Uh, let me know in the comments down below. What do you think it can reach feasibly? What could it do? Let me know down below. Like the video. Please, if you're a returning viewer, subscribe to the channel. I want to get that percentage of people that haven't subscribed down to 70% or below. Help me do it. Um, and guys, if you want to see the coins I own, go to copymycrypto.com and read that site. It is where I share my portfolio, every coin I buy and sell. Guys, 
we have tutorials within the site that's for beginners that anyone can use them we've got uh me deep diving into these markets on a daily damn basis and never stop as a result you guys can literally see the coins i own you can copy along if you want to make 42 times your money 52 or 600 plus times your money and go read the site because when i find the next phantom i want a udemy course like i did previously i will simply go onto the site and tell the members the coin i'm getting in on and why um along with all the other coins that i currently own uh, but yeah, go read the site and it's all verifiable because it's on the YouTube channel. And just a nice piece of news. We finally saw Bitcoin rally. Bitcoin had a close yesterday above 20k. We could be in a trap scenario, but we'll see how this plays out today. Um, <coughs> obviously, all the stocks that are big holders of uh, Bitcoin posted some nice double digit percentage gains. Uh, but more importantly, is it does feel like, oh, it certainly looks like Bitcoin is out of the consolidation channel. If there is a close below 19,700 on sort of a four hour, six hour time frame, then that could well be a trap situation and we just fall back into the consolidation channel we've been in for what feels like forever. But if that doesn't happen, Bitcoin could very well rally. We could see a sustained and continued rally possibly up to around 24k over the next uh, few weeks. But first of all, let's see if we can close a four hour candle above 20,500. If we can do that, I think it'll kick on. We'll see 21,000 regions today if we get a four hour close above 20.5. But it's looking good. It's, no, it's nice to see because it's been a bit monotonous. You know, when you're stuck in that channel, it's just a bit dull, bit damn dull. Um, Anyway, yeah, so stocks are rising, uh, crypto is looking positive, and nicely, the Dixie looks like it's weak, looks like it's got an M pattern forming, it looks like it could have a nice little drop, and if the Dixie has a drop, you know, the old coin markets, the Bitcoin markets will rally, <coughs> risk assets will rally, so we may well see quite a nice day today, but who knows, um, and that's it for me. Have a lovely day. Take it easy. Bye-bye.